One, two, three, four, fifth. Uh, numero uno, sticking in Minnesota. Mitch Leidner, Gophers quarterback slash fullback. First round pick, question mark. Oh, good for you. No, God, please, no. And, uh, yeah, so everyone and their mother has a mock draft. And it, it's a bit of a tongue-in-cheek thing. Soon as one year's draft wraps up, the next year's mock drafts are coming up. And all that good stuff. Now, Todd McShay of ESPN for ESPN Insider put up a way too early 2017 mock draft. And Mitch Leidner, who a lot of people have been talking about, is he even going to be a quarterback in the NFL? I mean, he's got the size. He's an athletic kid. Uh, he was originally recruited to be a linebacker at the University of Minnesota. And would he switch back to linebacker? Would he be a safety? Would he be a fullback, H-back type? But no. McShay's saying quarterback. And he mocked him as a first-round pick. Now, a lot of people are thinking, is this like some sort of residual April Fool's Day joke? Because a lot of people in this market and Gophers fans know that you know, Leidner can be okay at times. You think back to like the Iowa game, the Colorado State game, uh, Ohio State, etc. Uh, he can do okay at times. And, and even in the bowl game where he was MVP of the Quick Lane Bowl. And, you know, if he gets protection, and if the scheme is catered to him, he can be okay, but as a college quarterback. And now uh, McShay is saying, actually, let's just read what McShay wrote. So he has a mock number 25th overall to the Dallas Cowboys and be essentially the heir apparent to Tony Romo down the line because Dak Prescott, they picked in the fourth round. I don't think he's going to be the guy. I don't think Jerry Jones thinks so either. Uh, but McShay wrote about Leidner, quote, Leidner shows some upside as a passer, but I'll be looking to see if he can improve his accuracy. 59.5% completion rate, 14-11 touchdowns and reception ratio in 2015. Listed at 6'4", 237 pounds. Leidner has ideal size and has shown the ability to make plays with his legs off design, runs, and scrambles. He's a late riser to keep an eye on, especially, uh, excuse me, similar to Blake Bortles and Carson Wentz, end quote. And Bortles and Wentz did have that sort of uh, meteoric rise from one year to the next because you know Bortles is like six five, two hundred thirty, uh, same with Carson Wentz and uh, Bortles at, at Central Florida kind of came out of nowhere his final season down there in Orlando and you know, vault his way all the way up to number three pick Carson Wentz we we all know coming from an FCS quarterback who had only started a handful of games and then leading them to an undefeated season and another national title and becoming the number two overall pick and the NFL is. Uh, obsessed uh, with the sort of size at quarterback. And it will usually trump accomplishments. Uh, you look at Vernon Adams uh, at Oregon and Eastern Washington, uh, but because he's five foot eleven and 200 pounds, he goes undrafted and doesn't even get signed as an undrafted free agent. He has to go try out for the Seahawks this weekend. But if, if he was 6'5 and 240 pounds, just like Leidner, or 6'4", 237, whatever, he's uh, going to get an extended look. And the NFL is always betting on upside, and they're always betting on quarterbacks. So as weird as it may sound to Gopher fans, and people have been keeping an eye on this program, the pride of Lakeville, Mitch Leidner, while I don't think he'll rise up to be a first-round pick, maybe he'll be a day two, maybe he'll be a day three pick. I think he'll get drafted, that's for sure, even as a quarterback, because teams are so desperate at this quarterback position like you see this when the Rams trading up and uh, the Eagles trading up trying to get their franchise quarterback in a class that doesn't even seem that good uh, teams will take chances and Mitch Leidner if he has a decent senior season it, it's possible you know we got a new offensive coordinator with Jay Johnson I don't think Lion Grover was doing anyone any favors with his very vanilla scheme he was rolling out there year after year so under new head coach Tracy Clays and with a new OC it's possible, and like Mache said, uh, fifty nine point two percent, fifty nine point five. Excuse me, gotta give, gotta give a little leeway. Uh, completion percentage: fourteen touchdowns, eleven picks, twenty seven hundred yards passing. Uh, they're not ideal numbers, and uh, I believe he does have a lot of accuracy issues he needs to work on. Because uh, just think of how many Gophers drives ended with a really bad pass on second down and another bad pass on third down, where completely missed the mark. It's very Christian Hackenberg-esque. Oh, speaking of Hackenberg, uh, last year's version of this, McShay, uh, his way too early 2016 mock draft that came out right after the draft last year, he had Christian Hackenberg going number one. 
who ended up going in the second round. Connor Cook going number two, who ended up going in the, in the fourth round. And Cardell Jones going number seven overall, who ended up going in the fourth round to the Bills. So it's uh, I, I realize McShay doesn't you know take these too seriously, and it is more for clicks and hashtag content rather than hashtag analysis, but it, it, it's just funny. It, it is a, a little funny, and I, I'm sure that you know, some people follow his lead. You know, some people like Benjamin Albright already think that maybe Leidner could be a sleeper, and it's possible. And you know what? If it happens, good for Mitch. He's taken a lot of garbage in, in from uh, Gopher fans in this market. And if he has a really good senior season, that means the Gophers are going to have a good year. And, you know, if he puts himself in position to be drafted, yep, God bless him. Hats off to him. Dun, dun, dun.